let me spend the next two videos here, two or three videos, talking about how this author problem manifests, um, how you see it, where we see it, and, and where publishers and other people see it. The largest place, boy, I'll tell you, this is just, this is brutal, just brutal, is where the author problem just rears its head is in covers. That's right, covers. In this modern world where you're not in traditional publishing, you're in indie publishing, you're the publisher. You get to choose your covers and choose your art. In the old days, authors would just have to live with their covers. We didn't have any cover approval, and that was a good thing. And I used to say that all the time back in the, in the traditional publishing days. It's really lucky authors don't have cover approval. And towards the end of my years in, in traditional publishing, they used to try to give me cover approval of my books. And I, I turned it down every time because of this, the author problem. I knew that if I got involved, I'm an idiot. Number one, I don't know what, you know, at that point in time, what sold the book and what didn't sell a book, what covers, what, what anything. I, don't, I knew nothing. Well, here we are in the indie world, and suddenly all of this responsibility of what sells drops onto our laps as the author. Oh, bad thing, real bad thing. Because authors have a couple tendencies. Um, tendency number one, we don't know how to research. Now, I know you research your historicals or you do this or that. I got that. I know. I Oh, I must have insulted you there. No, you don't know shit about research because it never occurs to you to go research the books that are selling, the top ones, the top ones, and look at their covers inside your genre and imitate. It just doesn't. Look at the covers, the colors, the fonts, <laughs> all of that. There are a reason there are good cover designers out there. And some authors have made the decision to spend a lot of money to have some of these cover designers, you know, help them. But you can do it yourself, but you have to be able to research. And then you have to get out of the author problem. And the author problem is how this manifests is, oh, on chapter 16, there's this incredible scene that that so-and-so kills so-and-so and I need to have a piece of art and I'll go get someone to draw me a piece of art with so-and-so stabbing so-and-so and, and they've got to be wearing this kind of thing and they've got to have this on. And yeah, no, won't sell shit, <laughs> number one. And number two, it's giving your book away. Why? It's like a bad trailer on a movie that tells the whole plot. Why are you doing that? No, if anything is illustrated, it's the image, the feeling of the book, or what's in the first chapter or two. That's it. That's as deep into the book as you want to go. Oh, that is so difficult for authors because those first chapters are long forgotten. And that cool stuff on chapter 23, boy, they got to get that on the cover. No. That good space battle on chapter 17, uh, not so much. No, no. Um, and, and so, you know, it just, it's not what sells books. You have to research what sells books in your genre at the moment, and it changes. It really does change. It has to be an ongoing thing. So if you're writing a certain type of fantasy, I mean, for example, Chris's Fay novels, oh, they're wonderful. And back when we did the covers for those, we, they illustrated scenes out of the book. We had an incredible artist illustrate these scenes, and they're wonderful. And, and we, have, we even did a couple extras. We were going to do calendars and everything. And within a short couple of years, by the time we got around to even thinking about doing a calendar on this, the whole fantasy genre had changed on the covers. Now those books look like their 1990s books. They just do. Beautiful covers, incredible covers, but they look dated. We haven't got around yet to updating them. We will probably sooner rather than later because there's talk now. Both Allison and Chris are talking about it. And Chris has more books to write in the Fae series. But, oh my, it has nothing to do with the modern. And that is because we were modern when we put them out. 
but not now. Not now. The big fantasy books have a completely different look, completely different fonts, completely everything. Okay, And so, you know, you have to research. But boy, I'll tell you, this author problem manifests right here, you know, you know in twofold. You want to put that fantastic thing from chapter 23 in your, on your cover, which is just mind-numbingly, why would you do that? Let, them, let the reader read the book to get to chapter 23. And number two, it probably has nothing to do with what's selling now. It really doesn't. Research, folks. Research. It's easy. Imitation. It's easy. Imitate the look and the feel of the best-selling books in your genre now. And then be ready every two, every two or three years to change your covers. It's just the nature of the beast. What sells is not necessarily what's in your head as the author.